Hello Marvel Heroes fans, welcome to part 3 of the Omega System Survival Guide. Uh, in part 1, I've talked about some of the notes that I personally like a lot for, uh, you know, from my experience playing with all kinds of heroes from all kinds of builds. Uh, part 2 of the Survival Guide, I share with you the tips, so as to speak, on where to farm your Omega points, where are the best places and best way or best event and so on. So in this part three, it's really to answer the million dollar question. Now that say you have decided these are the notes to invest in, how many ranks should you should you uh, invest into? The answer is not simple. Um, you know, some, some guys will say, yeah, go and max it all out, you know, yeah, pick this note, put everything there in, you know, max it out. Um, some guy will say, you know, some some friend of mine will say, oh yeah, do, do a 50% because it seems expensive. Uh, but there is a more scientific approach to it and you don't need to, uh, it's not tedious. I'll show you how, so you know, you, you'll be able to do it next time, do it yourself. And, and, and once you open up this concept, you know, you always consult back to your data before you invest your very hard-earned Omega Pawns. Uh, into this system. So um, without further ado, I'm going to use uh, some of the illustration here and to show you um, how you can work out what is best for you because you know, you, know you, you may have very high Omega points or very low Omega points. Your appetite in uh, paying something expensive may be, di may be different. Uh, from, from, from other players. So you decide how, how, how deep you want to go into a, a node and you apply the same standard across the entire system. I'll show you how. The first thing that you need is a website that help you to plan. So the website that I use is marvelheroes.info as you can see in this bar here. It has a pretty nice tool to show you it mimics the entire uh, Omega system in game so you can plan which nodes to put how many pawns uh, but also bear in mind that this is an um, online version it may be different from the one in the game um, you know I do not know how often they update this system so always refer back to the game for the latest uh, information so I'm going to use Shadow King as one of the example here uh, for it's very popular. Shadow King help uh, a character to a hero to to get through a certain crit hit uh, rating uh, target, and the uh, Shadow King procession. Shadow King's procession. The initial cost is fifty points. The next rank is fifty two points, and it goes up two points. With the benefit is the same. So twenty four brutal strike rating, twenty four crit hit rating, and so on. We'll get a linear increase as the rank goes up to the max of twenty. However, the cost will escalate. So from fifty to fifty two, and so on and so forth. So how many points should you put it in? Is it going to be twenty? Is it going to be like ten or five? You know. So you know. Here is what I'm going to show you. Right. Uh, first, you need a spreadsheet that looks something like this set up. Uh, you can you can use Excel if you are if you have Excel. I don't have Excel at home. You can use Open Office, but I prefer to use Google Doc. Um, so you just need a couple of columns. I walk you through the columns. No, it's, it's very easy. So uh, Shadow Shadow King's procession has twenty ranks to it. So the first thing to do is populate this column with the uh, with twenty ranks. Twenty ranks. So twenty ranks is something like. Um, so you can do something like this, same as Excel as well, by the way, very nice to use. This tool is free, it's online, I can check it while I was working, like, you know, mm. no, I don't. Um, so cost per rank, like I said, 50 is the initial cost, and it go up by 2 per, per rank. So how should we work it out? It, you can use formula, all right, or you can use manually. I use formula, so it is equals to the one above plus 2 points, because it escalates by 2 points every rank. So the next rank is 52, 52, and then after that I copy it to everything else, paste it in, and then look. So what it means is that you know, um, for to you to get the initial 24 crit, uh, crit rating and blah blah blah, you pay 50 points to get one rank. However, if you want to look into the 10th rank, you are paying 68. Now obviously it costs more, right? The more rank up, the more you rank up, the more you pay. So now the question is how far shall, how deep shall you go, right? In order to understand this, you know, I, I need to look at the cumulative cost. So the, you know, as I click the button, uh, how many 
points am I already investing? Now the game won't tell you that. You have to work it out yourself. So it's very simple, right? Uh, the initial cumulative cost for the first rank has is equal to equals to the fifty, right? And the second one is what? It's equals to the one above, which is the cumulative cost plus the one on the left. Yeah, left. And uh, that is fifty two. So the answer is hundred and two, right? So you know, so you pay a total of 102 pawns for two ranks. So what about the third one? So it would be 102 plus 54. And you know, if you open the calculator, no, you don't do that. Um, so it's actually, you know, you can use the same formula and, uh, and help you. Right. So this is a cumulative cost as you rank up. So on the first rank, 50, right? And on to the 10th rank, you're already paying 590 uh, for that. And if you max it up, you pay 1380. Now, I know friends who are not even there yet. So, you know, if you read the guide and say max it, what does that mean? You know, do you really max it? No, you don't. So you have to think for yourself, right? So, but, you know, you, you can't really tell because like, you know, what, what exactly does all this number mean? Because, you know, every Omega node has different cost, we have different cost escalation. So the next thing I'd like to do is look at the baseline cost. So to me, a baseline cost is the, is the fair price for, the, for, the, for, the, for, the, for one rank. Uh, when I look at Shadow King's procession, okay, when I look at Shadow King's procession, to me, the first rank you know, 50 point for 24, 24, 1% is a fair price to me, to me, that I wish it would hold, you know, uh, constant, which of course it doesn't, but uh, by the way, there are other points like this one here, uh, no, I mean, there are other points like, uh, uh, like, like some other notes that will give you the same, uh, there's no cost escalation at all, there are some other very rare ones, but you know, most of the time you have to pay more, so, so what I'm trying to say is that to me the fair fair price for 24 24 1% is 50. So uh, that would be my baseline. So it's equals to uh, I use a formula and you probably understand why I use this particular formula. It's equals to the first ranking cost times uh, the rank itself. And then I use uh, Excel uh, command to fix this uh, cell. So as I do copy and paste, it will stay the same. So I copy this guy and paste it to the rest of it. All right. So now what it means is that if I look at the second one here, it actually do a mul uh, it multiply 50 with 2. And uh, if I look at, say, the 10th one, then I, I look at the uh, 50 times 10. So it worked out very nicely. So to me, the fair price is 50. And if I acquire 10 rank you know i think the baseline should be 500 but then you are paying 590 uh to get the 10 rank and you are paying 1380 to get to the rank 20 whereby uh, to me a fair price the baseline price is 1000 because that's what the cost is for the first rank so now the next one comes the cost effectiveness the cost effectiveness is like how effective it is uh, as you go further down the rank so, um, you know, now common sense will tell you that because the cost escalates, you know, the further you, you the deeper you invest into a node, uh, the more you pay and hence the cost effectiveness become lower. So in order to calculate cost effectiveness, what, what, we, what we can do is equal, uh, you do a formula again, which is the baseline cost divided by the cumulative cost. Okay, so first rank, of course, 100% cost effectiveness. Effectiveness because I decided that this is a fair price. Uh, but what about the rest? So as you go through the rest of it, all right. So now it becomes really interesting here because you know if you are low in omega points and if you say that um, I can only tolerate 90% cost effectiveness, what it means is that um, you know this. Is the target you should you, you should be uh, looking at. So this become a target you look at, right? Because you know if if I if I if I do not want to invest uh, more than uh, less than I mean the, if I do not want to have a cost effectiveness lower than ninety percent, this is my cutoff point. Uh, six rank is what I should put into my Shadow King's procession. And you can use the same standard apply for all others when you when you recalculate, right? So it is it is not the same for every other node. So I'm going to show you another example later. But just for this very example, I'm going to show you 
uh, this is the one that um, uh, if, if you are low in Omega point, this is the one. For me, I look at 80%, so what it means is that I put 13 points. So this become my my standard, my, my so-called gold standard, right? So you know I will not I will not accept a cost effectiveness less than 80%. So anything less than 80% to me is too expensive. And 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 hence for Shadow King possession, the however wonderful the note is, I'm willing to spend 806 points to get 13 ranks. Now that is one one way to look into it. Of course, you have to ask yourself, you know, uh, does my hero has crit issue? If it doesn't have a crit rating issue, maybe put it somewhere else. But what I'm saying is that if your hero has crit rating issue, and if you would like to put points into this this note, my advice to you is that do your mathematics and then you know and see how far you should go. You should not just you know blindly you know uh, apply this formula to everything. It is still worth eight hundred and six points now. Those people who ask you to max it, you actually have a cost effectiveness of 72%, which is still not that bad. But then, you know, do be warned that there are places whereby there are like, um, uh, there, there are like, um, like pit hole. Like, you know, let me show you another one uh, very quickly. So I'm going to wipe this, con uh, this one away because, you know, uh, I'm going to wipe this one away. And then I'm going to show you another one. That for summoner, uh, you know, some people may want to put a uh, merge and process. Merge and process is something like this. Now, uh, that's why I want to show you why this is like so dangerous, right? Because um, you know, if you read the guy and say, "Oh yeah, you know, uh, uh, summon ally damage is great, you no know, max it, whatnot, twenty percent out of mid," uh, but I'll show you why you shouldn't even consider that. So, initial cost is uh, twenty five points, escalation is thirty points. So. What it means in this spreadsheet here is that initial is uh, sorry initial is twenty five then become thirty right so it is twenty five right the then after that the the one up is plus five percent uh, plus five right so become thirty and this apply to everything else now you see for yourself whether you still want to put twenty percent out from it. The cost escalation is really high, and if you calculate the cost escalation, which I I always do, is equals to bracket uh, the you know um, the cost escalation of this one minus this one divided by this one here. So it is a twenty percent cost escalation. So every rank that you go up, you pay twenty percent more uh, of the baseline, of course. So what it really means is that if you apply the same standard that I talk about, if you are at 90% cost, effective, cost effectiveness and not going anything lower, then you probably will not go further than two ranks. That's what Max will do. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I have a higher Omega points. I don't want to go anything lower than 80%. So what it means is I stop here. And if you look at the mathematics behind it, if you really invest 20 points out from it, you are paying 1450, right? If you look at the baseline cost, it's only 500. You, you, you're having a cost effectiveness only 34%. You're paying a lot more. You're wasting your Omega points on that one single note that you could have put it like uh, plus, plus one intelligence and so on. So don't do that. Do your maths. This is like one of those things that, yeah, you pick two points or pick through three points. It's good enough. I pay 90, 90, 90 points for, for, for three ranks. I'm happy. That's my goal. But don't, you know, always do a mess. You know, you see how dangerous this thing is, right? If you don't do a mess, you you have wasted like tons of it. Now, but uh, I mean, it's it's not all like you know all like this one. Uh, there there are there are many other places whereby you know uh, uh, pretty pretty good things as well. So for instance, if you are energy damage, uh, you may want to go for plus one energy. Plus one energy. This is a high high investment note by the way is 250 points for the first one right and then after that it becomes 255 now even if you don't do a math you know that it is not getting really expensive even as you invest so, but anyway go through the math first right uh, only have 10 ranks so I, I don't i don't i don't look into anything lower than this uh this this one below so i'm going to wipe this one off as always so what do we have? It's a 250 and then 5 points uh, up. So 250 for the first one. And then this one is uh, plus 5. We can see the mess and um, ten, 10 ranks to it. Oops, sorry. Uh -huh. It's a little bit unlike Excel. 
So what it really means that forget about the one in the, in the bottom, just uh, ignore those. I don't want to wipe it off first. Uh, but what it means is that, you know, because the cost escalation is only two percent, uh, if you can afford to to pay two thousand seven hundred and twenty-five omega points to get a plus ten energy, which is great, uh, you are you are it is having a cost effectiveness of higher than ninety percent. It is one of those things that you yeah grab you know just just get everything, and uh, and yeah I mean you know and and. and because you've gone through the maths and you know that yeah you know it is um it's something really worthwhile and i i, I run you through to uh, a couple more example i mean you know um just to just to get you through this and make sure that you understand and you know happy about what what you've discovered here another one that is very popular is a tactical neuro implant which is like uh, 40 and it go up by 45 so a lot of people really like this one. It is like crit hit damage plus crit damage uh, rating. Both are wonderful for any heroes that you have, right? Because crit damage rating, you can't really get it anywhere a lot. Like, you know, uh, it's something that you highly desire because it buff everything else like crit and brutal. So again, it's 40, 45. So what does our spreadsheet say? 40, 45, right? So, it, you know, the initial cost is uh, so 40. So 45 is here. So 45, okay, hang on, uh, let's do a proper one. So this one plus five, and then 10 ranks out from it. So now, again, the cost escalation is 13%. It's not as bad as the merge and process, but not as good as the uh, Shadow Kings, nor the uh, the one that you've just seen. So if you're looking at 80%, uh, 90%, what it means is that you, two pu you put two points to it and call it a day, right? So this is where your threshold is. My threshold would be five points. Right, I put five ranks to it. And I call it a day. So for for me, I always put like five points here. But if you don't have a lot of points and you say that I can't afford to waste so much on on just one note, then you say okay, ninety percent cost effectiveness. Effectiveness is what I want, and I put like uh, two points to it. Right, so two points is what I get. A uh, little bit of it, but that's fine. I'm not paying too much for for that. I have other um, you know, you know, money to go somewhere. Right, so so that is wonderful. And, uh, and, and so on and so forth, I mean, you can, you can go through the whole thing and realize that, you know, like, like this one, 30 to 32, you know, it's actually quite good, but it's not something worth, like, you know, putting, like, 100% to it. Uh, there are things, like, if you look into some really special ones, like, uh, like this one here, right? So, uh, this one is 75, and then it went up to, it goes down to 40 and 45. So how do you model such thing? You can actually do it, uh, believe it or not. So, it, okay, so you start with 75, 40, 45. So what I do is that, um, let me just wipe this off. Okay, uh, so, so the first one is uh, 75, then 40, uh, 45 is equals to the one, plus uh, five and so on now uh, but before we we continue i just want to check whether okay it's so 20 points to it so now uh don't look at this one yet the the there's one thing you need to adjust it's a baseline cost you know should the baseline cost be 75 or should the baseline cost be 40 the answer is 40 why because um for for the for the for for 75 points what you are gaining is actually more than just a range power crit attack and crit damage rating you are gaining the reviews enemies or minimap within a range of 1500 so you are paying 35 points for that and it's being added together in something called tag rounds so it, it really depends on what you think of it i mean you you can include one include this one in or you can decouple it as well so you know for, for my hero, I don't find useful, I mean, I don't find reviewing enemy is useful at all. It's unlike those that, you know, uh, you have to unlock to, to get to the next one. I, at least some of these unlock are quite good. I mean, you know, plus one damage to range power, plus one damage versus target not attacking you. I mean, these are pretty good stuff. But then when it comes to reviewing, you know, so so to me, my 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 baseline is not, is not the, uh, it's not the A2, my uh, B2, my baseline is actually uh, B3, which is 40, right? 
So if you if you copy across, so what it means is that then the um, forget about this one as well. Uh, this one will not be valid. So the cost effectiveness actually, uh, you know, the first one of course is bad. Then you know uh, it it go back up again, but then it, it go down again. So you know it, it never hit any ninety, it never hit any eighty. So it really up to you whether you want to pick that one up only. And if and only if you think that the thirty-five point initial investment is worth it for the review that enemies on the map, otherwise don't do it, right? Uh, or you could say, okay, forget it. I mean, you know, I can I can fake the first one as uh, you know um, forty. Next one is forty. Then you compare baseline. You can do that too. I mean, it is your analysis, your modeling, and you may find that if you if you do something like that, so it, 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 instead of the um, so if you if you if you change the model a little bit. So I'm going to change the model here, just bear with me. So no change to this baseline. If I say the first cost is actually 40, not, not, not 75, because I decouple the 35 out, then you've got yourself yet another model. But what it really tells you is that if you are 90%, you take 4 points, otherwise you take 6 points. It's up to you. If you think that the 35 points is worth it to review enemy, go ahead, then you still need to go through the mathematics and say that, okay, for me, my appetite is 80%, I take 6 points, or my appetite is here, then I take 4 points. Yeah. So, you know, uh, I strongly encourage you to just work through the system yourself. I mean, most of the thing will, 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 will be like, uh, like if you look at the uh, wall path as well, 180. Now, now, usually you thought that, yeah, plus, plus uh, attribute is something that you should max it. You know, so far, everything is fine. Uh, but for this particular note, uh, it's also... Um, uh, it's a little bit different because the escalation go up quite a, quite a fair bit and to me 80% cost effectiveness I work out the mathematics I put 9 points instead of 10 why? because of on the common standard across so now you do not need to go through this spreadsheet all the time so now I teach you a way to jump it through uh, because after a while you see a pattern the, the only thing that matter to hold this whole thing is that uh, assuming that this is 35 by the way uh, the only thing that matter in this whole analysis is cost escalation because that will determine how expensive the note will get as you dive deeper. It doesn't matter whether it is a 5 point note, 5, uh, five rank note, 10 rank note or 20 rank note. It should still stand. Look at cost escalation. I've got a guideline here. This is something that I always use myself uh, when I want to allocate, uh, allocate uh, omega, omega points. I have worked out that if the cost escalation is 4% 4, 4 I, I Shadow King by the way uh, I'm looking at 80% cost effect, effectiveness I will put 13, 13 ranks to it But if something that like the 13% like the, uh, the one that we've seen the, uh, the tactical whatnot, neural whatnot uh, That one is 13% cost escalation Immediately I know that I put 5 ranks to it So it, it becomes a very quick way of uh, learning I mean, using this thing, you, if you have derived this sheet yourself, or you can just copy this one, you know, as yours, um, you can very quickly know that, um, you know, uh, like a cheat sheet, right? So, you know, for any of this, you can work out like, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, from, from 180 to 190, that work out to be, you know, uh, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I mean, it's something like maybe a 6% and, you know, that is, you put 9 points instead of 10 points. And with this, you have a very consistent way uh, to to apply the the the, the uh, to allocate a point without thinking, "Am I paying too much?" You know. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, this is one of the things that I really like to share because a lot of people will just keep asking, you know, how many points, how many points, how many points to put in, how many ranks to go up, and, and this is your answer. You know, do your mathematics. You know. Um, work it out yourself and don't overpay more than what you are comfortable with apply the same standard throughout the whole entire system there are so many notes out there you can just spread it across you do not need to go deep on any notes unless of course it is worth it that it is within your your appetite all right so hope you enjoy see you next time bye